Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Kung gusto mong mag-advanced learning mula first quarter hanggang fourth quarter, kompleto na yung topics natin, feel free to visit our playlist. Okay? Let's get it started! Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 7. Sa video lesson na ito, ang pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol sa properties of operations. Ito ay topic ninyo sa week 4, quarter 1. So, una, meron tayong properties of addition and multiplication. Dito muna tayo sa closure property of addition. For example, nito, meron tayong 7 plus 12 is equal to 19. At meron tayong negative 15 plus 12 is equal to negative 3. So, itong closure property of addition, for any integers a and b, a plus b is an integer. Ano ba ang mga integers? Ito ay whole number with positive or negative number or zero. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng integers na i-add mo, ang magiging result niya is integer din. This is close for addition. Since the addends are integers, the sum is also an integer. Kagaya nga ng example natin dito, 7 plus 12 equals 19. As you can see naman, positive integer plus positive integer is equal to positive integer. Dito naman, negative integer plus positive integer is equal to negative integer. Ang closure property of multiplication ay katulad lang din siya dito sa addition. For any integers a and b, a times b is an integer. For example, 5 times 9 is equal to 45 and negative 3 times 8 is equal to negative 24. As you can see, positive itong mga numbers dito at ang result niya is positive din. This is close under multiplication since the factors are integers. The product is also an integer. Okay? Malinaw ba ang closure property? Now, let us proceed to commutative property of addition and commutative property of multiplication. For any integers a and b, a plus b is equal to b plus a. The order of addends will not affect the sum. For example, dito sa letter a, positive 6 plus negative 2 is equal to negative 2 plus positive 6. At this is true naman, ba? Kasi kapag in natin ito, 6 plus negative 2, 4 din yung magiging sagot. At kahit pinagpalit natin yung order nila, ang magiging sagot is positive 4 pa rin. So, ang commutative property, pinagpalit natin ang kanilang order o yung kanilang position, pero ang magiging result is the same pa rin. Another example, negative 8 plus negative 3 is the same as negative 3 plus negative 8 kasi pareho silang negative 11 ang result. Same as commutative property of multiplication. For example, positive 7 times negative 5 is equal to negative 5 times positive 7 at ang kanilang result ay parehong negative 35. Nagpalit lang yung order nila dito, yung 7 ang nauna dito, at dito naman ay nauna yung negative 5. Another example, positive 10 times positive 6 is equal to positive 6 times positive 10. So, ang magiging result nilang pareho is positive 60. So, ang commutative property of multiplication for any integers a and b, a times b is equal to b times a, the order of factors will not affect the product. Okay? Again, ang commutative property of addition and multiplication, yung order ay hindi naaapektuhan yung magiging result ng kanilang product and sum. Okay? Ngayon, ano naman ang associative property of addition and multiplication? So, dito sa associative property of addition, 
For any integers a, b, and c, quantity of a plus b plus c is equal to a plus the quantity of b plus c. Different groupings of addends will not affect the sum. Ibig sabihin, kahit yung a plus b yung magkagroup dito sa una at yung b plus c ang magkagroup naman dito sa pangalawa, the same pa rin yung magiging sum nila. For example, quantity of 3 plus 7 plus negative 4 is equal to positive 3 plus the quantity of 7 plus negative 4. Equal sila. Bakit? Tingnan natin. Unahin natin yung nasa loob ng quantity. So, 3 plus 7 is equal to 10, ba? Then, 10 plus negative 4 is equal to positive 6. The same as, unahin naman natin itong nasa loob ng quantity. Kasi PEMDAS tayo. 7 plus negative 4 is equal to positive 3. And positive 3 plus positive 3 is equal to positive 6. As you can see, the same sila ng sum. Okay? And then, another example, we have negative 2 plus positive 8 plus 5 is the same as negative 2 plus the quantity of 8 plus 5. Dito sa associative property, nag-iba lang yung groupings nila. So, dito ang nakakulong ay yung negative 2 at yung 8. Dito naman, yung nakakulong ay yung 8 tsaka 5. At kapag isolve natin to negative 2 plus 8 is equal to positive 6 plus 5 is equal to 11. Dito naman, 8 plus 5 is equal to 13, and negative 2 plus 13 is equal to 11. So, the same din sila ng magiging sum sa associative property of addition kahit magkapalit yung kanilang groupings. Same as multiplication, ganun din. Dito naman, 4 times 5, ito yung magkasama, times 7 is equal to 4 times 5 times 7, so ang magiging result niya is 140 din. So, dito, ang nakakulong ay yung 4 at 5. May kulang dito. Ito dapat. And dito naman, ang nakakulong is yung 5 tsaka 7. Dito naman sa letter B, negative 2 times 6 times negative 4. So, dapat mayroong bracket dito. And then, dito naman, ang nakakulong ay itong dalawa. And then, ang magiging result nila is parehong positive 48. So, the associative property of multiplication for n integers a, b, and c, the quantity of a times b times c is equal to a times the quantity of b times c. Different groupings of factors will not affect the product. Okay? So, ganito ang associative property of addition. Another one, we have identity property of addition and multiplication. For n integer a, a plus 0 is equal to a. Ibig sabihin niyan, lahat daw ng integer na kapag inad mo yung 0, ang magiging result niya ay yung sarili niya rin. Bakit? For example, 15 plus 0 is equal to 15, di ba? So, yung integer inad natin sa 0, ang magiging result niya is yung sarili niya. Another one, 0 plus negative 8 is equal to negative 8 pa rin. So, the sum of any number and 0 will always be equal to the number. The identity element of addition is 0. Kasi lahat ng iya-add natin sa 0, ang magiging result pa rin niya is yung kanyang sarili. So, that is identity, property of addition. Katulad mo rin, meron kang identity na kahit sino man ay wala makakapalit sa'yo. Parang ganun din lang siya dito sa identity property. For example naman, sa multiplication, iba yung kanyang identity element. Ang identity element naman dito sa multiplication ay positive 1. Kasi dito, lahat naman ng imu-multiply mo sa positive 1 is equal pa rin siya sa sarili niya. For example, 32 times 1 is equal to 32 pa rin, ba? And then, positive 1 times negative 15, ang magiging result pa rin niya is negative 15. So, that is the identity property of multiplication. Again, the identity element for addition is 0 at ang identity element naman sa multiplication is positive 1. So, dito naman tayo sa additive inverse property. Dito naman sa additive inverse property, dito naman sa additive inverse property for any integer a, a plus yung kanyang opposite is equal to 0. 
The opposite of the given number is called its additive inverse. The sum of a number and its additive is zero. For example, we have, so yung positive 10, ang kanyang opposite, di ba, is negative. Ang magiging result niya is zero. Same as, sa negative 2, ang kanyang opposite is positive 2. So, kapag in daw natin yung integer at yung kanyang opposite, ang magiging result niya is 0. Dito naman sa multiplicative inverse property, ang magiging result naman nito is positive 1. The reciprocal of the given integer is called its multiplicative inverse. The product of a number and its multiplicative inverse is 1. Ano ba ulit ang ibig sabihin ng reciprocal? Yung kabaliktaran ng isang integer. Ibig sabihin, yung nasa numerator, magiging denominator siya, at yung nasa denominator is magiging numerator. Di ba lahat ng integers or lahat ng whole number meron siyang imaginary na denominator na 1? So, bakit may 1 doon? Kasi nga lahat ng whole number Lahat ng denominator niya is 1. So, kapag babalik ta rin natin yung 3 over 1, magiging 1 over 3. Kapag inimultiply natin yan, ang magiging result niya is positive 1. Okay? So, that is the multiplicative inverse property. Another one, we have zero property of multiplication. Dito naman, any number multiplied by 0 is equal to 0. So, basic rule lang ito, nung elementary kayo, alam nyo na to na lahat ng numbers na imumultiply mo sa 0 ay 0. For example, negative 98 times 0 is equal to 0, ba? And then, 0 times 12 equals 0 din. So, kahit 1 million, imultiply mo sa 0, ang magiging result niya is 0. Kahit 1 billion pa yan, or kahit 15 billion times 0, that is equal to 0 pa rin. Alright? Now, the last one is distributive property of multiplication over addition. For any integers a, b, and c, that is, a times the quantity of b plus c is equal to a, b plus a, c. Siguro naririnig nyo na yung i-distribute nyo to, magiging ganito yung result. So, adding first before multiplying or distributing the factor to each addend will give the same result. For example, meron tayong given dito na 6 times the quantity of 6 plus 4, 8. So, pag basic rule ang gagamitin natin dito, di ba PEMDAS tayo? So, unahin natin yung nasa parenthesis. 4 plus 8 is equal to 12. Ito yung basic rule. And then, 6 times 12 is equal to 72. Sa distributive property naman, Yung 6, i-distribute mo siya sa 4. I-multiply mo siya sa 4. So, 6 times 4 plus 6 times 8 naman. So, 6 times 8. And then, 6 times 4 is equal to 24 plus 6 times 8 is equal to 48. At kapag in natin yung kanilang product, ang magiging sagot pa rin is positive 72. Diba, same na sila dito sa basic rule ng math? Okay. Another example, we have negative 5 times the quantity of negative 3 plus 10 is equal to, distribute natin, so ganito siya, negative 5 times negative 3, ito yun, plus negative 5 times positive 10, so ito naman yun. And then, kunin natin yung kanilang product. Negative 5 times negative 3, di ba pag magkapareho sila ng sign, ang magiging result is positive 15. And then, negative 5 times positive 10, magkaiba ng sign, so magiging negative 50. And 15 plus negative 50 is equal to negative 35. Kung hindi nyo pa master yung multiplication, division, addition, subtraction ng integers, reviewin nyo muna na sa playlist lang natin na i-discuss ko na sa nakaraang video. So, kapag gagamitan natin yung basic rule, di ba, PEMDAS. So, negative 3 plus 10, that is positive 7. And then, negative 5 times 7 is equal to negative 35. So, ito yung rule ng distributive property. I-distribute mo yung nasa labas dito sa nakakulong na numbers. Okay? 
Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Sana marami kayong natutunan sa video na to. Kung meron kayong mga katanungan or clarifications, just comment down below. At kung nagustuhan ninyo ang video na to, please like, subscribe, at ishare nyo na rin sa mga classmates ninyo. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy, at mag-aral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!